What's up guys? Brian with Headwaters Adventure Company and today we're going to take a look at the Hobie iTrek 9 Ultralight Inflatable Kayak. This is the lightest kayak that you can purchase on the market. That is a pedal drive kayak. The bare hole comes in at 20 pounds. Fully rigged, it's only 37 pounds. That's boat, drive, seat, and paddle. Everything included. Let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to go over everything that is included with the kayak when you do purchase. That includes the boat itself, your seat, a pump, a floor pump. So the one thing cool about this pump is it inflates, but also deflates to help compress the kayak when you are done using it. Pretty cool feature. And it is a double pump. So on one side, I don't know if you can read that. So it is a single or double action. Essentially what that does is allows you to inflate on the downstroke or the double action is inflate up and down. Kind of helps with inflating the kayak a little bit quicker. Another thing that Hobie did include for this year is an electric pump. One thing that's awesome about this is you get the boat out, get it laid out on, on the ground, plug this into your cigarette lighter in your car and just let it go. All right, so let's talk about the paddle that comes with the boat. You don't get a standard kayak paddle with this kayak. You actually get a sup paddle. So what this allows you to do is essentially stand up on the boat and paddle it like a paddle board. It is kind of designed like a paddle board, so that does make sense. If you did want to paddle it like a regular kayak, obviously that would be an additional purchase of a paddle that you would have to do through the dealer that you do purchase from. Another couple things, so you do get a drive well plug, kind of standard Hobie, and a repair kit, just in case you do drag it across the rocks or put a pinhole in it. It is still covered under Hobie's warranty as far as inflatables go, so if you do have some seam separation go on, get a hold of your dealer, get on it right away, they can get you a replacement. All right, so let's talk about the bag. The bag is fairly durable. It's built out of, I would say, kind of a Cordura material. It does have quite a few handles on the outside of it, so if you do need to grab and move the kayak on its own, that makes it very easy to do. One thing it does have also is wheels. So you can get the boat, say, out of the back of the truck or out of the back of your car. Just wheel it closer to the water when you need to inflate it. All right, let's walk you guys through this boat, bow to stern. So on the front, carry handle, very lightweight. Usually doesn't take two people to carry the boat, but if you needed to, obviously, handle out the bow. Drive well, so this is your standard Hobie inflatable drive well. Doesn't have the big black click and go like the regular plastic hard shell kayaks do, but works exactly the same. Pull them back to take the drive out, drop the drive right back in, locks in place. Up next, the seat. So the seat is a little different than the older inflatable kayaks. So it is a nice frame seat similar to what you would find in say the new Compass or the other inflatables that Hobie does build. A um, Couple clips in the front to lock the front of the seat down. Cup holder. One thing about this seat is everything is easy on and off as far as say the cup holder or steering handle. You just pull this red pin on the bottom right here and things slide off and on. Or when you slide it on, just like that. Handle for steering on one side. On the back of the seat, you do have your storage, just like you would find on, say, the Lynx or there again, the new Compass. And same clip system on the back. And the rudder system is actually the same as the Lynx also. So when you want to go up and down, all you have to do is give this a tug I don't think it's gonna work with the boat on the stands. It's not heavy enough. So you pull this up, give that a, a good tug, rudder drops down, vice versa. When you wanna pull the rudder back up, give that a tug and the rudder will come back up. One thing that is nice about this new system that you find on the inflatables and also the links is you can actually swap the steering handle from one side to the other, just like I showed you removing the 
uh, cup holder. You do that with the steering handle. You take the steering handle off the seat and you can actually swap this to the other side. Kind of a cool feature of this new seat and rudder system that OE's come out with. All right guys, so now that we've gone over the boat, let's talk about specs. So the boat is nine foot, five inches long, 40 inches wide, bare hull, so nothing attached. Say, take the seat off, drive out, paddle off, rudder system off. It only weighs 20 pounds. Everything on fully rigged, you're up to about 37 pounds. Still fairly manageable for one person, which is great. The boat is 40 inches wide, really, really stable. It isn't the fastest kayak in the world, but if you're just looking for something to throw in, say your RV or something easy to take around to yourself, this is a great option. Now, let's get this thing out on the water. I think Matt's out there catching fish already. So we're gonna get out there, catch up with him, give this thing a test drive. All right, so I caught up with Matt, made a few casts, didn't catch anything. We won't say anything. We'll try again, um, but back to the boat. So this thing coming in at nine foot, five inches long, I will say it isn't the fastest thing in the world. It just doesn't have the water line, but to be honest, it's fun. It's zippy, it turns on a dime. It is really stable, I will say. I was standing up and casting off of it. Um, I don't know if I can, yeah, I don't want to try to do this with the camera, but it's a great boat. I mean, for the price, uh, it being inflatable, only 20 pounds. I mean, it, it's hard to beat if you're looking for something easy to store to take, I'd say take on road trips, uh, leave it in your RV if you want to, it'd be a great choice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard to beat. So let me know what you guys think down below. Again, like, subscribe, let us know what else you might want as far as content, what other kayaks you want us to take a look at, installs you want us to go over, and we'll catch you in the next one.